Today will be a pretty short video in which I will talk about a common operator that I and many other people have just gotten wrong and I have made this mistake in my past videos as well and that's this symbol. In JavaScript, what would you call it? Probably the modulus and that's what I have been calling it but strictly speaking, it isn't the mathematical modulus. Okay, so now on one side we have node, the other side we have Python. So let's just try something pretty simple, 8 mod 5, uh, 3. That's pretty logical if you ask me. However, have you wondered what happens if you use a negative number for the first thing? So let's say negative 8 mod 5. In node, it gives us negative 3, which is kind of logical because if you think about it, negative numbers are kind of just like a mirror of the positive numbers. But let's just try the exact same thing in Python. 8 mod 5, 3, negative 8 mod 5 is 2. From just by looking at it, there doesn't seem to be a way that 2 and 5 are related to 8. However, there's a good explanation behind both methods. Uh, say we have a number in mind, right? You want to calculate 0, you want to calculate, for example, 8 mod 5. What you would do is you can just draw the line 8 on the number line, say that's somewhere like 8, and then we draw a length of uh, 5 that's somewhere like here. And we basically get the biggest multiple of 5 that doesn't actually pass 8. So in this case, we can only have one 5, and then we, the modulus or the remainder is just what's left. So this part would be 3. Okay, but how would this work with negative numbers? So let's just paste in the original one again. So what would happen if 8 here? What we can do is that we actually do one 5 in the negative numbers realm negative 5 is bigger than negative 8. So we can actually have another negative 5 until it reaches negative 10, which is actually less than negative 8. And now the difference between these two is 2. So what we will define is that negative 8 mod 5 is equal to 2. And this is the Python way of doing this. Now, what about the JavaScript version? The JavaScript version, what we do is that it is essentially just flipped so that we say that it just goes until 8. So for negative numbers, we actually find kind of like the least multiple that are still bigger than 8. So this time, you can only fit 1, 5 into this area of 8. And this part is 3, but since the 5 is uh, the other way around, this is actually negative 3. So in JavaScript, the number is negative 3. Let me use a different, slightly different way of explaining this then. And this is part of the reason why I think that, in a way, Python version makes more sense. So here's the normal number line, it extends infinitely into both directions. However, what we're doing when we do a modulus is essentially we're wrapping the number line around. So let me draw a circle here. The bottom is 0, and if we're modding 5, we're basically saying that's 1, that's 2, that's 3, that's 4. So there's 5 possible values here. And here is 0. So if you want to do the same thing again, if we're going to do 8 mod 5, what that's happening is just going around the circle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we go around again. 1, 2, 3. And that's 3. So it wrapped around 1, so it became less than it previously was. And now for negative numbers. Negative 8, what we can think of it is just stepping the other way around, right? You go back negative 1, another 1, another, another negative 5, and you can do another one that's negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, and you see that you land on positive 2. And it makes sense because in this field there are no negative numbers. You can only go from 0 to 4 and it just keeps wrapping around infinitely no matter which direction you go. However, in JavaScript, essentially what happens is that as soon as you hit 0, it kind of just flips the entire thing over and 1 becomes negative 1 and also goes to the other direction. So what if we graph this actually? Let's say that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now let's say if you want to graph something like y equals x, just a normal one. It's just a diagonal line through the origin like that. However, if we instead graph y equals x mod 5, what is happening is that essentially you start at 0, you go to 5, somewhere like that, and then you go back to 0 again. And then you go up. And then you go up and it repeats this way forever. So what if x is negative? 
Well, in this case, for the Python version, it just continues the pattern. It starts as some number, it goes up to five, and then it repeats like this. But what about in JavaScript? In JavaScript, for positive numbers, it behaves the same way. But for negative numbers, it actually just continues into the bottom, continues into the bottom here again. And there's kind of like a symmetry, a rotational symmetry around the origin of zero, but it doesn't continue the pattern the whole way through.